happy first day. I am so excited to start this year off. I think we are going to make some gorgeous, wonderful memories together. Because you know what? <laughs> this year is a lot different than school years that we've had in the past, right? What are some things that are different about this year? I know that we are going to have to stay socially distant, right? We are going to have to wear face masks when we're together in school. Don't worry, I'm all alone in the classroom right now so I can safely take my mask off. But when we're together, they stay on. <laughs> and another thing that's really different is that we are only going to be together in this physical space for half of the amount of time that we were last year. Which means that you are going to spend half of your school day learning from home. Now we got a lot of practice being at home learners last year, but this year we're really going to get the chance to build on that and to get better, right? We can always get better. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to start us off by setting up a special place in our home that's going to be free of distractions, that's going to really just be, uh, be a, a comfortable place for us to focus and to learn. So, let's get started. What, but wait, you're saying, Katie, how are you gonna show us how to set up something in our home if you're talking to us from school, right? Okay, good point. I shouldn't be talking to you from school about this. I should be talking to you from home. <laughs> and now that I'm home, I can show you guys how I like to set up my focus spot in, uh, in here so that you can do the same in your home. Now, keep in mind, the place where you do your reading is probably going to look kind of different than your writing. Or maybe not, maybe you like the same spot, but today I want to just focus on creating a spot where we can read independently. So the first step is to find a place in your house where you can read. Uh, you want that spot to be well lit, somewhere where you won't be bothered, somewhere without distractions. I chose my plant corner because it, uh, it really helps me stay calm and focused. It's right by a window, so there's plenty of light. There is sometimes some noise, but hey, maybe I'll put on some white noise in the background and I know that I can sit there and I can really focus on what I'm reading. Um, so next step is to take my spot and make it nice and comfortable. Now I could like sit there on the floor, but we're going to be reading for about 20 minutes when we do our independent reading and I don't want my body to get sore or uncomfortable. So what do you think I can do to my spot here to make it a little more comfortable? Maybe I can put out some blankets, some pillows. Let's see, let's see if we got an idea. I put this big cushion against the wall. How's that look? Maybe I'll even add some pillows. Oh yeah. Oh, right, that's looking comfortable, yeah? <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so step one is done. Um, now I want to make sure that my area is free of distractions. I'm going to make sure the TV is off. If there's noise going outside like there is right now, I might put on some noise canceling headphones, maybe some white noise, anything that will help me focus. I also want to make sure that any toys I have or any devices are put away for the time being. So goodbye phone, I'll see you after I read. Um, and then what? What do you guys think? I think this is 
a pretty good spot to read. So, I want you guys, explorers and problem solvers, to create your own space in your home where you can sit and read and focus. Now, I would love to see your spot. So, if you can take a picture or ask an adult to take a picture of you in your reading spot, please feel free to send it to either me or Megan by email or dojo. Um, once you're in your spot, you're going to want to set a timer so you know how long to read. You're going to want to set a timer for 20 minutes. If you have a visual timer like we do at school, perfect. Go ahead and set that. If not, you can use a phone as long as you don't let it distract you. You're going to want to go to the clock app. and go to timer at the bottom and set it for 20 minutes and then press start. If that isn't an option, I'm gonna share my screen really quick and show you how you can set a timer on any computer. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to open the internet just like here on Google. Yeah, I'll make myself a little bigger so you can see me. As you guys can hear me, I know there's some construction going on that sign. Okay, oh look at that, I had already Googled it because I have just been reading. So if you go to Google, all you have to do is type in the words 20 minute timer, press enter, and there it is. It's already going for you. Nice and easy, right? Okay, now one last thing I want to show you before we say goodbye. When you guys read at home independently, it's going to be very important that you get the credit for all the work that you just did. And in order for me or Megan to know that you did your independent reading, you're going to need to log it into the digital learning log. You are going to do that on our class website. Now I know you guys already know how to get to the class website because you found this video, but let's do a quick review. If you are in Megan's class, the thinkers, you are going to go to epic, E-P-I-C, E-D, dot, O-R-G, org, slash, ooh, excuse me, thinkers. And it looks like this, beautiful. If you are in my class, if you are a problem solver, you're going to go to E P I C E D Epic Ed dot org slash you guessed it problem solvers. Press enter, it'll take you right there. So once you find your way to the website for your class, go on over to the um menu bar here at the top and click on clickable schedules okay, clickable schedules and then it looks just like this you know you already know this already because you found this video so you're already ahead of the game so remember this is the daily five right so when you are done with what i asked you to do which is today set up your reading spot send me a picture and read for 20 minutes. You're going to continue to scroll on down and log you into the digital learning log. This will make sure that I know that you completed this task so I can give you the credit that you deserve. So go ahead and enter your name, enter the date, remember September is 09. Remember to add the zero if it's a single digit date, so 08-2020, beautiful. And then you go down to daily five and you tell me which one of these things you did today. So if you did what I asked, you, you read independently, or in other words, you read to self. We will get into these other ones later in the week in more detail. Don't forget that after you do the other things today, like read aloud and book talk in Richmond, then you go down 
and you say that you did those two in the digital learning log. Make sure to click that you listen to the read aloud, you gave a flip grid response, and that you participated in the enrichment. And then all you gotta do is click whoop, submit and you're done. Then I will know that you did what I asked you to do and you'll be all set for the day. I cannot wait to see the pictures of your reading spots and I cannot wait to see most of you in just a few hours. So enjoy your reading and have a wonderful, epic day. Bye.